Hi, Dr. Vincent Pasquale with NSI, and one of the questions I get pretty often is what is PRP and what role does it play in overcoming like arthritis or arthritic conditions? Um, the important thing to understand about PRP is think of it like fertilizer, right? There's a specific mechanism in our body that promotes healing or that is healing, let's say. And let's just use an example. If I cut my hand, the first responders are platelets, and platelets, believe it or not, run the show. And what happens once they respond is, yeah, they'll clot wounds, but they also stimulate the inflammatory process, which brings chemicals and growth factor to the area. They ultimately stimulate the stem cells that exist in my skin to go to work and do what they need to do. Now, PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. We get it from your blood. Us as a clinic, uh, as an organization, you know, we made a very specific um, pact, so to speak, and essentially we prepare our own PRP and we do it according to the guidelines that is uh, with the most cutting edge research that exists. And the reason why is we want appropriate uh, growth factors and we want to get the most amount of platelets that we possibly can. So we actually don't use kits, we prepare it ourselves. So what we do is we take whole blood, we take it through a process to obtain platelet rich plasma, which is basically just the plasma. So we separate out all the big cells, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and we're left with just the serous fluid. Now, what we do in an orthopedic uh, environment is we mix stem cells into the PRP. Think of it this way. Stem cells are the seeds to regenerate cartilage. PRP is the fertilizer. So what we do is we mix the two together and we inject it directly into the compartment. Now remember, platelets run the show. So when we do that, the platelets will compartmentalize, keep the stem cells in that compartment, show them where the damaged tissue is, and then ultimately the growth factor gives them the, the resources necessary to heal and regenerate that cartilage. So it's a really important part of the process and it's one that we typically wouldn't leave out. One of the things that we can also do with PRP is going forward, if we have a really severe joint, we can actually stimulate the healing process throughout the course of care using PRP as fertilizer at multiple steps. PRP is also useful for other things. Think in terms of soft tissue uh, complaints like tendonitis, myofascial pain, muscular damage or muscular uh, tearing. We can actually promote healing in those tissues with just PRP. We don't necessarily need stem cells harvested from tissue. And there's a reason, those tissues contain stem cells already. What we need to do is just fertilize the, the area and the environment so that we can promote healing in those tissues and it's extremely beneficial. Again, those um, visits in terms of PRP by itself, pretty straightforward, usually about a 20 minute visit in the office, you're in and you're out, and just takes a little bit of time to heal, but extremely effective.